God help me to be stronger than the negative person who is crucifying me. Been there. We've already talked about this a little bit, but let me give you another tool. Don't you love tools? I love tools. I love, I love things that work when we do them. And this goes back to the chamber of the mind, the imaginal chamber that Neville Goddard talks so much about. We can actually recreate, rewrite present day relationships by imagining them differently. That person who is crucifying you, you can take them into a meditation, into that imaginal chamber, and you can hear them speaking to you the most beautiful, wonderful, edifying words. And you can see yourself in this visualization, in this chamber, returning that to them, speaking such beautiful words, hugging this person. There's so much love between you and this person. The key here, again, is to do this until you feel this, until it takes on what Goddard calls the tones of reality. You've got to actually hug them, maybe, in your visualization and actually feel the fabric of their shirt. You can feel their muscles beneath the fabric of their shirt. It's, it feels real. When you've got the tones of reality and you've got the feeling, that loving feeling, that high vibrational feeling, you are literally rewriting that relationship. You're rewriting that relationship. This means what the universe does with that signal is sends offerings and invitations to the person in question who is crucifying you or hurting you. Opportunities for them to change. Awarenesses and an awakening so that they can reflect on what they're doing to you. And maybe what happens is there's a quickening of conscience, a conscience in this person where they realize this is wrong what I'm doing. I don't want to do this. I want to live in a better way. You having that time in the imaginal mind and you envisioning something different for this relationship and feeling love when you're doing it. Don't take your anger in there, girl. Don't take your judgment in there and your bitterness for all they've done. No, you go in there in love. You go in there with love and light. And that's the conversation that you have. That's what the interaction is that you're envisioning. And the universe begins to respond to the signal. Now, let's keep in mind though, that there's always free will. This person can choose to just be an asshole. They can choose to say, yeah, I get it. I could be self-reflective. I could be a better person, but I don't want to be. That could happen. But in that case, if there is no reconciliation in the heart of this person, which is being offered by the universe, then the universe sets about to protect you, to protect the you that you are in that imaginal chamber, offering your love and receiving this love and may make it easier for this person to exit your life. The universe has your back. The imagination isn't, well, the imagination is just as real as our physical reality. We need to be spending more time in there, creating new possibilities creating new patterns, creating new friends, creating new love relationships, creating new knowledge and understanding, creating new connections in our imagination. Anything that occurs or manifests within the objective reality, which is the physical reality, must first be created in the energy, period. If you want it, you've got to create it in the energy. You've got to be a match for it in the energy, you see. And so if what you want is the reconciliation of this relationship or just the exit of this person from, your, from this relationship, then you imagine it into being in the physical world. That's how powerful you are. Don't enter into this interaction now in the present disempowered. You are powerful. How do you want it to play out? Do you want forgiveness? Do you want friendship? Do you want complete removal from your life? Get into the chamber and make it so, number one. You dig?